Adventures in English, Language Registers. Yo, what up, Squirrel Squirrel? What are you reading about, Teach? Hello, Thaddeus and Monroe. I'm perusing this book about language registers. Language what? Huh? What are you talking about, Teach? The five language registers are styles of speaking depending on the audience, purpose, topic, and location. Static or frozen language does not change. For example, the Pledge of Allegiance or the Class Pledge. Cool. I love the Class Pledge. Say what? Man, that thing is boring. We say the same thing every single time. Formal language is a one-way communication and impersonal. Interruptions are not allowed. Examples are class lectures, speeches, and announcements. Can't interrupt. Is that why my teacher gets mad when I yell out questions during a lesson? Yell out questions? What are you, in first grade? You don't be interrupting teachers, man. To continue, professional or academic language is formal conversation focused on providing information and is professional or academic. Professional or academic language is used between employee and boss or student and teacher. So, since you're my teacher, I shouldn't say yo or call you squirrely squirrel? Exactly. It's better to use academic language when speaking to a teacher. Okay, okay. I mean, oops. I mean, I understand and will strive to use academic language register. Casual language is informal. It uses slang and idioms. It's considered group language. Because you have to be part of the accepted group to use this language. You will hear it between friends or read it in text messages. For example, Yo, sup? Or nah? Or even TTYL? Are all casual language. Teenagers are experts at casual language. Teenagers rule. No wonder old people don't understand us. They don't get casual language. We should stop using it with teachers, because they ain't part of our group, you know? Right. Yes. Yes, please stop using casual language with teachers. Using the correct language register for the audience, topic, and location is called code switching. Make sure you code switch into academic language at school. Moving on. Intimate language is for private conversations and a close relationship. For example, the parent and child, siblings, or boyfriend and girlfriend. Like when my mom calls me Pookie Bear and stuff, I hate when she calls me Pookie Bear. That's better than Snuggle Buggles. My mom calls me that. She's the only person that can call me that. That was cool, Teach. I mean, Professor Squirrelkins. Yeah, I mean, yes. That was an informative lesson. Thank you. I'm glad it was helpful, Monroe and Thaddeus. I promise not to code switch to casual language and call you Pookie Bear and Snuggle Buggle. The five language registers. Number one, Frozen, Pledge of Allegiance. Number two, Formal, Class Lecture. Number three, Professional Academic, Teacher-Student Conversation. Four, Casual, Friends. Five, Intimate, parent and child. Remember, use the correct language register for your audience, topic, and location. Code switch to academic language at school.